July favorite to video because, well, it's not July anymore, but I just missed it by a few days. And this is my first YouTube video. Yay! For my first favorite today, I've got the Neutrogena Build a Tan Gradual Sunless Lotion. And it lets you control your, like, how tan you want to be, which is really nice. And also, I've been using this for a few weeks now, and I have not seen any orange. It does not make me orange at all, which is nice, because I'm actually a really pale person. And, um, like, it's really easy to build up a nice tan, and it actually looks natural. And I've, so far, I've also seen, like, no streakiness or, like, Watching it. I know some people sometimes have that problem with self tanning, but there's none of that with this. And you just get like a nice overall tan. And I believe I purchased, I think I got this at Target, and it was about nine bucks. And one thing I also like about this tanner is like most self tanners smell really bad. Like it's just awful. Whereas this one actually just smells like almost like baby powder, which is really nice. Um, yeah, and it's like a light fancy, and it's like white, and it smells like baby powder, so there's none of that like gross self-tanner smell, which is awesome, because I hate that smell, I think it's awful. So, my next July favorite is the Biofilt Silk Therapy, and um, this was about, how much was It was about like 14 bucks, I believe, maybe. Yeah. Actually, this was actually like 25 dollars. It was probably. Um, and I got this at Ulta, I believe. I had this for a little while. And like, when you use this, you really don't need to use much at all. And um, yeah, you just need to use a tiny bit. And what it does, like, you can use it in your hair. And I actually heard from one of my friends who also uses it that you can also use it on like your arms and legs and chest and stuff and it makes your skin really soft like it does with your hair and it also smells really good so it makes your hair smell nice and I guess it would make your skin feel like smell nice too. And yeah, and if you really want something like if you have like really coarse hair like sometimes I just like I have wavy hair. And sometimes it can be really coarse, so I just put this in to like soften it up, and it makes it nice and soft and like touchable. I guess I don't know. It's really nice, and I really love this. It's a great product, but it is slightly expensive. It was twenty five bucks. I just got a little sticker on the back, so yeah. But I mean, it works really well, so I definitely think it was worth the money. And then. Next we have another Biofilk product, and this is the Biofilk Peach Texture. And it's like, my hair is naturally fairly wavy, like as you can see, this is my hair with like no product in it. And um, what this does is like, when you spray this in your hair, like, well, like my hair at least, it kind of like, as you can see, like the waves are all like, gross kind of. It's not like my hair is completely straight, but it's not like completely wavy either. And this just sort of more or less defines the waves, I guess. And it makes them prettier. And this also smells really nice. These two actually have the same exact scent. And yeah. And you just spray it all around your hair when it's wet or damp. Um, yep. And then you can like let your hair dry naturally or you can use a diffuser. I tend to just let it dry naturally and it works. But I mean, I didn't use it today because it was just all natural. And so yeah, like this was about fourteen dollars, I believe. I got this at Elta, and I love it. Definitely love it. Okay. Next, is the next item on my my favorite list are something that I really. They are the Revlon Just Bitten kissable balm stamps and because I'm crazy I have nine of them yeah I have nine um, and 
I'm actually wearing my makeup right now, and then this color for me. Yeah. Let's see what this color is. Mm. This is Donna Marie. Looks like honey. And um, it's so very easy to put on. Your palette really works, and um. It, it is a lip thing, so it does last very long when you put it on. Like, I think, like, I only apply this on my lips once, so, like, it's just like, kind of, and it's nice. Like, I love lip tones because naturally my lips are fairly red, so lip tones are always, like, great for honey because it helps with that. It helps with the change of my color, also, because my lips are very red. And then, um, when you first, like, put them on, there's almost, like, a minty, like, sort of menthol, like, feeling to it. Not really, like, a cake. And then, there's almost, like, a menthol-y, minty smell to them as well. But it's not, it's nothing bad. And, like, it doesn't last very long. And they actually do keep your lips moisturized which is nice because you don't really have to wear chapstick because I always wear chapstick underneath my lipstick so like you don't have to and they feel really light on your lips like you don't even know it like which is also really nice and um yeah I just really like them they're very similar to the Clinique chapstick definitely and um just depending on where you get them they can be anywhere from like six ninety nine to like eight ninety nine. So yeah. Yeah. So and then the newest one I have is the Love Stick one and it's number twenty and it's a thick slash medium. I guess it's a slash. And then Love Stick. And it looks like this. And then It's nice that it has a thing, but like, a lot of people when they first get them, like, it just looks like it's a kind of big ass, like a, it looks like it's a kind of big sharpening board, but, um, what it does is it just sort of twists up, you can, like, look from the base, like, you can sort of see it and just twist it, which is nice. And I feel like, I mean, there's a good amount of product in here. Just that much, and it's about half the people in here, okay? Which is nice. And I love this one. As you can see in the back. Um, the colors I have are Love Stick, okay? Which I showed you that one. And then there's the other one I showed you, Honey. That's the one I have on. And then I have this one, this darling, and it's like a, it's like a purpley color, I think, like a purpley color, and it's just really nice. And then there's the this one is precious, and it's like a nude color, almost like a cream color, and like I wouldn't, when I first bought this one, I didn't think it would show up the fall colors, but it actually does. And it looks really nice. And then I have this one's charm. And it's like a light tan, almost like a peachy color. And this one, it seems like it's just more of like a pearly color. And it's really pretty. I like it. And then there's and this one. This is sweetheart. And it looks like ice cream. And then this one is Cherish, and it has kind of a pale color, so, and it's almost, again, like, light lavender, like a pinky color. And then, the one that I, this was the only one, no, there's one more. I didn't think I would like this one at all, because it's, you know, it's, it's orange, and I, you can see I've actually had to use it. And then, um, 
but I actually really like it, and I do have another one, um, don't remember what it's named, but it's like a dark red, like, bunny hair, and it is not the best thing ever, and I don't know where to make it by now. Next, I have this, um, it's the Kid Creative Innovative Smart Volumizing Foam with a Mega SPA Complex. And what it does is like, and one thing I love about this is it's not a mousse, it's a foam. So like, if you have a mousse with a volumizing mousse in it, you have like, sometimes it can make your hair really like, hard feeling and like, almost like it's crusty or whatever. And I don't like that at all. I find it very gross. And um, this just works for my hair. Like, it gives my hair volume, which naturally it doesn't have because my hair is so thick that it has like no natural volume to it, which kind of sucks sometimes because volume doesn't exist. It's just and um, yeah, I really love this. It was about, how much was it? it was, I think this was about $15, but I didn't actually purchase this one. It was given to me by my roommate, because she didn't want this anymore. And, um, like, so she gave me this, and I mean, it's called the Youth Hour, so she gave me this, and I love it. Because she has natural, you know, her hair is great. She has tons of natural hair. And, um, so, she gets me a gift that she gives me. And, um, yeah, that's great. And I love it. And I use it almost every day, as you can see. And, well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I actually don't know. Yeah, it's almost empty. Okay. Next, we have L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows, and I have them in the color, and this one is Endless Pearl, and this one is um, Endless Sea, and this is Ice Water, and I'll do a real quick swatch of these. So, we got, so, and these are very pretty. Very pretty too. So that's um, great latte. Let's see what this says. And then the endless sea. And they're very nice, like, they go on very smooth and stuff, on your eyes. And, I don't know, I really like them. But one thing I definitely recommend is that when you first open them, like, when you first open it, it has this little thing in it, like this little gray thing, and on it it says, do not discard, and you really have to pay attention to that because if you discard it, if you like throw this away and then just put the regular cap back on, they will like fall out and get everywhere. Like it's not really a press thing, it's just a little thing there, but it will crumble and get everywhere and it's just not fun. And then you can't really use it. I mean, you can, but it's just a pain in the butt. So, you might save these little gray things. And one thing I love about these is that they are so pigmented, especially for the lighter two colors. Like, I mean, they show up pretty well. I don't know. Well, the endless pearl isn't, it's not as pigmented. Like, this is what it is. You can't tell it from here. You can see that. But, um, it's not as pigmented as the other two, so you can just pick it up. And, um, but, 
and um, but it's not as pigmented. But when you put it on your eyes, like if you use it with a primer, it works phenomenal. Right. And I love it. And one thing I also like about these is they're very light to wear. Like you don't even notice you're wearing them. Like I'm one of those people where if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I will never tell you. I can feel it on me, and I just don't like that feeling at all. I don't know. But I love makeup anyway. So, and that's why I love these. And another thing, I like. I know for a lot of things like this, you want to pour them with a pretty like colored side up. You want to pour it like this, but you really can't. You really shouldn't do that. Like, I actually store them like this, just so the powder stuff, or whatever that is in there, um, so it doesn't, like, crumble all, or get anywhere near here. It will. And it's really fast. And it's really awesome. Because then you can reach it. And it's just really cool. So, definitely recommend getting these. Um, I don't remember how much they were, but they're not, I mean, they're not too expensive. Good drug store products. Really like them. And I have looked them in a few more colors, but at the moment these are just the ones that I'm using. Okay. And then another product I have is the L'Oreal Paris Magic Perfecting Base. And it's like it's a face primer, but you can put it on underneath your foundation, which and it just gives your foundation like a very forward look to it. And very seamless looking and it's like it only comes in one color and it's like a goldish pinky color I don't know if you can tell the color but it looks nice and if you can tell it's sort of like a nude almost like yeah it's sort of like a nude and then you like rub it in and it really really makes it pretty it really looks great underneath foundation. I love it. And I use this quite a bit. It's like, uh, I think this was about 10 bucks, 10 or 11 dollars. And I really like it. Um, so, yeah. And it's really good. And you can also use it on your eyes too, which is also nice. Like when you don't have to have like an eye primer and a face primer, you can just have like an all in one primer, which is so, um, that's all I have for you for my July favorites video for today. Um, I hope you liked it. Um, I also hope you comment, rate, and subscribe. And that would make my day very happy. Yay! Bye!